my name's Aura and welcome to my channel, Aura Reads Books. Today I'm going to be doing the Year End Book Cave, which was started by Ariel Bissette a bunch of years ago, and I do not know how to find the original video, so no link in the doobly-doo. Uh, so the Year End Book Tag is just like, as the year is, the end of the year is coming up, what are some things you want to get to in the meantime? So here it is. Let's start with, uh, are there any books you've started that you need to finish? Yes. One. Uh, I was reading The City of Bones by Martha Wells, and then Space Opera September happened, and I was like, oh, gotta get my Space Opera in, and I put that aside, but I definitely want to get back to that as soon as I'm done, maybe even before, because Space Opera September, I mean, there's gonna be, just a sec, my cat is chewing on my, my cords. So yeah, I want to finish reading City of Bones by Martha Wells, because I was really enjoying it, uh, before I put it aside, and, uh, I will probably do that as soon as I'm done with Space Opera September. All right, question two. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Um, I want to do something kind of spooky. I don't know if this is spooky, but it's what I've got on my... This whole shelf, by the way, is my to read books, um, which is most of my shelves. Uh, are books that I haven't read. But what I'm looking for is an autumnal book. Here we go. Devil House by John Darnielle. I've read his book Combine Harvester and I really enjoyed that. And this is his take on true crime and I think kind of the ethics around that. So it does center around a, a grisly satanic panic type murder or something. Um, but I think it really comments on that, and I have definitely listened to a lot of true crime podcasts in my day, and I'm always interested to hear critiques of that, because I think that's really fair. There's a lot of space for that. Uh, so this is my autumnal book for getting me into fall. All right, let's see what's next. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Yes, Blood from the Air by Gemma Files. It comes out... It's releasing sometime in October, so so it's coming soon. And I might get my copy a little bit earlier because I ordered a special edition hardcover and apparently they ship early and I'm very excited and that's gonna be my big fall book, really. Uh, Gemma Files, uh, I've got this by her on the shelf and a few more up there, but I haven't read this one yet, so. bookshelves are hard. Anyway, so Gemma Files, Blood from the Air, uh, which is a anthology of short stories, and she has had We Will All Go Down Together is also an anthology of short stories. Um, but, uh, just a sec. In That Endlessness Our End was also a collection of short stories, and this is one of my favorite collections of horror stories that I have ever read. She is my favorite living horror writer, or non-living. Either way, I am, I am such a fan of her work, so I cannot wait for her next one to come out. Alright, let's see what's next. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Okay, well, again, this is my to-read pile, this whole shelf of stuff that I would like to get to sooner rather than later. But for some special ones, uh, Library of the Sapphire Wind. This is a fantasy book in which three women in a knitting club, like older women, uh, are accidentally transported to, it's, it's a portal fantasy, they're transported to a magical realm of uh, people that are different from us. And it's kind of by accident that they're the ones that are grabbed, but they have to help solve some problems. Except, again, they're all older women having this portal fantasy adventure, which you just never see. So kudos to Jane Linsgold. I am so here for this. I cannot wait to read it. And it's been on my shelf for too long, unread. So that's one. Uh, two. Oh, oh, obviously. The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. Uh, my plan over the next while is to read all of Terry Pratchett. I own most of them and I haven't read them yet. So um, this is the first Discworld 
uh, this was the first published Disc Discworld novel. I'm going to be reading them in chronological order uh, when they were p published. Although I have read Equal Rights already and it was fantastic. I loved it. Um, but I'm going back to the beginning and we're plowing our way through them. Uh, so yeah, I believe this is uh, the magician Rincewind and he's scared of things. I'm not sure, but it's funny and uh, I expect it to warm my heart because it's Terry Pratchett and he's good. He's good. Uh, that's two. Oh, there's a bunch. I'm going to be reading that anyway for a book club. Um, Cordelia's Honor, uh, specifically the first book in this series. This is, uh, this is two put together. So Shards of Honor. I want to read Shards of Honor this year because, um, I know some people that are reading through this series and they're already on like book three or four and I want to catch up and be part of that reading, uh, experience with them. So I got to get through at least the first one, maybe both before the end of the year. There we go. That's three books that I want to read by the end of the year. What's next? Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Well, I expect that to be Blood from the Air by Gemma Files. So, uh, because she does cosmic horror in a way that just adds, it's, it's perfect. She does urban cosmic horror, which is, uh, unique from what I've read. Um, I've, I've, usually things are a little more out of the way and, and out there to bring in the cosmic. She does it in like condo apartments in Toronto and and deep in the city and and just it's so unsettling. I love her work so much. Um, so I expect my favorite to be Blood from the Air by Gemma Files. However, no, it's going to be Gemma Files. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that is uh, the end of the year book tag. And I will see you next time. And hopefully, if you like, you'll like. If you want to subscribe, you can do that too. I put out videos uh, randomly and at my leisure because I don't have a lot of free time. But I love to read, even if I'm slow at it. And I want to share that book journey with all of you. All right. Have a great day.